Hello everyone. I want us to look at PMT. The PMT function is used to calculate the payments. So normally you will find that you have to calculate monthly payment or yearly payment or maybe you are supposed to see uh, how much you are going to be paying off a loan. For instance, if you take a loan from a bank, it's an example that I can use before we can start. If you take a loan from the bank, they will give you what we call an interest rate according to the money that you borrowed so that when you pay it off, you don't actually pay only the amount that you borrowed, but they've added an interest on top of what you have borrowed. So what we are going to look at now is the money that you took as a loan and then you are going to pay it off uh, in months or they give you how many months that you should pay it off and then on top of that you need an interest so this spreadsheet that i'm going to use uh, is going to have all those functions so i will start by acknowledging the person who created this for us my colleague mr boshoff so now i'm going to use his spreadsheet so that we can have all the calculations showing according to what we have so the first one here a says price and the price represents the money that you would have borrowed as a loan or maybe you are buying a house and the bank is buying it for you then you owe the bank so you pay off the money including the interest now when we look at the first one here there are things that you need to consider when you start with pmt before you can start to calculate you look at the term and the rate so since while well, you are calculating monthly payment you have to consider that if it's monthly payment it means that the rate that you are going to look at should also be in months and then the term also should be in months if not then we have to introduce the months in our function so the first one here that we are doing everything that we are looking at the term and the rate they are in months so pmt will be pmt function like this and then the first thing that you take here as you see is the rate so i will just click the rate and then I put a comma and then npr means number of periods meaning the term so i take the term there and then i click it and then the second comma after i put it there you can see here on my tooltip it says pv meaning pre, uh, pre, what is it? okay pv meaning the money that you took as a loan so before i click this money i have to use a negative number so when i put negative there i click it the reason is because pmt will give you the answer as a negative number so we introduce a negative for that money that we take as a loan to avoid the answer coming as a negative so when i press enter i will see that i will be paying off this every month now total paid meaning that in all the duration that you or the term that you are given how much are you going to be paying in total including the interest it means this monthly payment in total how much is is it going to uh, give you as the total payments that you have done so when you put an equal sign this is not a function but it's a calculation because when i click there i will have to multiply with the months that i'm going to pay this money when i press enter it will give me the total money that is paid interest paid we want to know that from this money that i've paid uh, how much is the interest added from the loan so obviously when we take out interest only to show when we start with an equal sign we will also do a calculation so it means i will click the total paid then i subtract the money that i took as a loan then this is the interest yearly paid obviously in a year we have 12 months so if we have 12 months in a year then it means now i will have to go and click and calculate that um, the monthly payment that i will be doing I will multiply it with the 12 months that we all have in a year 
so you type that 12 because we don't have it in the spreadsheet as yet so when i press enter then i will see that 6489 and 18 cents in a year right now the b1 second one here we are going to look at monthly payment again when we check our rate it's per annum it's no longer monthly so it's different from that one that we had there then the term is also in years but we are looking for monthly payment so now when you do your pmt in this regard okay so the second one now that we are doing you will see that here we have years which are four years and then we have rate which is 7.6 percent and then now when we look at this rate is per annum the term also is for a year like we have four years but we are looking for monthly payment so that is what now is going to be different when we do our pmt so you will see that when i say pmt open bracket the rate when i click the rate because the rate is per annum then i will divide the rate by 12 months because we need to convert it to months okay so i will break it down by dividing by 12 so that i get the rate that represents a month because i'm calculating for monthly payment comma then the second one here npr number of periods this is four years when i click it i know it's four years but we are looking for monthly payment so i will multiply four with 12 because i need to know that monthly how much am i going to pay so it means now in four years we need to know how many months we have so our term will be calculated by the pmt when i do like that comma the last one we all know negative then i click the loan and i close the bracket enter that is our monthly payment total paid same as what we did in our a calculation there so i will have to say equals to then monthly payment multiplied by now that term when i click it again because you need to remember this is not months it's in years so if you click it and leave it like that it will be like it's four months but we know that now in four years we have more than 12 months so it means uh, every year has its own 12 months so i will have to calculate by multiplying this four times 12 so it means in my calculation actually i can even put a bracket and click that for mul multiply it with 12. Then. so this is my formula and then now obviously this must be in rents we can format it to be currency to decimals we can go there and make it currency and then they oh, it takes us to two decimals right so now after you have done total payment interest paid we have to click the total paid subtract the loan itself so obviously we will know what are the interests the yearly payment we are going to calculate by multiplying the monthly payment times number of months that we have in a year then we have our calculation showing like that now coming to c we are doing monthly payment again in c we have the term in years we have the rate in years so now equals to pmt and then when i take the uh, the rate when i click the rate there i will have to divide it by 12 because it's in years then i will have to next thing is the term which is going to be multiplied by 12 and then comma minus don't forget the negative loan then when i close the bracket it gives me the monthly payment right total paid we all know by now is going to be equals to and then i will have to say monthly payment click multiplied by now total paid remember we have the term in years so i will have to open the bracket click that term multiply it by 12 so that we have total payments for the five years so i will also change this to show as currency 
there we have it as currency interest paid is equals to the then i will have my answer so yearly payment now our yearly payment is equals to and then we are going to take monthly payment multiplied by number of months in a year which is 12 you type it enter then now going to d d says man term in months is 10 term in months is 10 price 1200 rate per month there it is so here is we have we have our term in months our rate in months we are going to look for monthly payment so now coming to g here you can see that we have deposit introduced to our spreadsheet even h we have deposit there so you must consider that when you take a loan if you put deposit now they will recalculate your loan according to a, a new amount as if like you borrowed a different amount from the one that you initially took because you put something before the installment started so amounts to finance can see that that is what we are going to be seeing also as we are doing our calculations so amount to finance is now going to be when we look at the loan that we took as 12,000 and now we are, we are putting a deposit of 2,000 what is the amount to finance so this one it's easy because you are going to say equals to this price minus 2,000 and then when you press enter you get a, a the amount that the bank will give you so that is going to be our new price so when you go to monthly payment when you check the term is in months the rate is in months so we are going to do our pmt without dividing and multiplying so i just go and say pmt and then the rate i take it as it is comma and then the term i take it as it is comma and then now the price so i will say minus and then i take the amount to finance which is a new one a new loan so when I close the bracket enter, that is your monthly payment. Total paid equals to monthly payment multiplied by that 10 months. You click it, enter. Okay. Interest paid equals to. Now we are going to say equals to the interest paid total paid minus the amount to finance. Then it will give us the interest paid. Yearly payment is equals to. And then we are going to say monthly payment times 12 then yearly payment will be 13,711 same as H you see H here there is deposit and the deposit has already been given to us so we need amount to finance so we are going to say equals to 45,000 minus click there then you have a new price and then monthly payment we are going to look at the term it's in yes and our rate is in months so consider the the term we need to introduce it to our pmt so that we don't have a confusion in terms of the term so when we say equals to when i click the rate I just continue from there because it's already in months i put a comma and the number of periods then there when i click three i will multiply it with 12 and then comma I multiplied that 3 with 12 because it's not in months it's in years so we convert it to months comma and then now we will say minus and then I will click amount to finance close bracket enter then I have my monthly payment total paid it's equals to monthly payment then I'm going to multiply with the term but it's in years so I will just put a bracket and click that 3 then multiply it with 12 so that I have it in months so this must be currency then I can change it to currency there now this interest paid we are going to minus total paid I click it minus amount to finance then I have the interest paid yearly payment is equals to monthly payment times 12 months in a year enter so all this you can see the difference between checking whether the term is in years or the term is in months same as the rate so that you don't do pmt without putting 12 months for each considering that it's in years 
or it's in months so don't make a mistake and just calculate without checking your term first and also checking your rate thank you i hope this will help you thank you for watching Thank you.